Hello and welcome. My name is Babs and this is Benny. Thank you so much for being here. Today's lymph flow yoga practice is for chakra cleansing and clearing. So if you're unfamiliar with the chakras, they're major energy centers in the body. So we're going to work into different poses, different breathing exercises, different mantras to help to clear some of that fluid and energy in the body. So get into something comfortable and come meet us on your mat. Okay, we'll begin. So take a comfortable seat. So wherever you'd like to sit, just place your hands in kind of a natural position. So as you close your eyes, just notice kind of where the hands are falling. For me today, it's in my lap, one hand on top of the other. You can take this position if it feels right. And then with your eyes closed, maybe it's the first time you've stopped all day to close your eyes and take a deep breath. So we'll inhale through the nose. Open mouth, exhale, let it out. Breathe in. Let it out. Breathe in for one, two, three. Let it out for one, two, Three. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, smelling beautiful flowers. Exhale, blowing out birthday joyful candles. Take a breath in. Notice what smell comes in. Notice what energy releases. Take three more breaths at your own pace. And then we'll place our hands on our heart today. Take a moment to breathe in and let it out. And then hands together. I'm going to encourage you, you all to create a positive affirmation in your mind to start. So an example of this could be, um, I love the person I'm becoming, or I'm happy with um, the courage I have, or something that, something, just close your eyes and see what comes to mind. Anything positive that you like about yourself, take a moment, if, if nothing comes right away, it's okay, just breathe. And then with this short phrase in mind, so if it was really long, try to cut it in half because <laughs> we're going to be using it. So remember just what it was. And then we're going to inhale, reach our arms up towards the sky. And then say that phrase as you exhale to bring the arms all the way down, palms facing the side walls. And then we're going to inhale, lift our arms only halfway. And then exhale, ground that intention down in and around you. Good. So inhale, reach up. You got it. Exhale, say the mantra in your mind. Inhale, lift up halfway with the arms, bringing it up through your chakras. And then exhale, release it around you. A few more like that. Yep. You can keep going at your own pace now that you've got it. Inhale. Exhale, push the walls away as you say your positive affirmation. Inhale, halfway gather that energy through your body. And then exhale, pull that energy around you. One more, inhale, lift. Your positive affirmation. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, gather that energy around you. And then pause, close your eyes, arms by your sides, lift through your spine, take a breath in. Let it go. Another like that in breath. Out breath. And then hands to the shoulders, the tops of the shoulders. And then just imagine that you're just coming up to someone and just kind of grounding down their shoulders. So just give a gentle little push down on the shoulders. 
and then one at a time just kind of pumping through just a little bit of a pressure down the neck and then the other neck And then coming back up to center, place the hands into the lap. We're going to place palms facing up, backs of the hands on the knees. Inhale, bring the shoulder blades together, open through the chest. Good. And then exhale here. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, this time bring hands down through heart center. Inhale, lift and rise. Gaze comes up. Exhale, slow and control, come down. One more time, inhale, lift. Exhale. And then both hands to the heart, make circles at the heart here. And then as you're doing these circles, maybe you take some head movements, so maybe bring the chin down or back up. And then we'll take these hands now so that both hands are nice and flat on the chest, skin to skin contact. Lift up tall through the spine, take a breath here. And then as you exhale, slowly make some circles in towards the neck. So you're stretching the skin, the palm is nice and flat. You can always do this one hand at a time. Try to maximize your surface area and just stretch the skin you're helping to improve central lymph flow, so incorporating and encouraging these lymph nodes to pump will help to improve the entire flow of your body. And then come up to the neck, stretch the skin back and down. Nice and slow. You can take the fingers so that um, they're surrounding the spine. So if your spine comes down the center like this, you take your fingers to both sides of the spine and then flatten the, flatten the palms down and then just drag towards the collarbones. So this is helping if you have any pressure in the head, allows it just to open, also opening the throat chakra here. So this improves the lymph flow, improves the muscle tension relief, and then coming back to the chest. Take a breath in and out. And then release the arms down, and then tent the fingertips into the earth, so really push the fingertips down so you can like wiggle your head up towards the sky. Good. And then we're gonna release the legs out in front of us. So we're gonna start with the root chakra. So the root chakra is beneath the belly button, right in your super pubic area. And we'll bring our hands behind, fingertips facing towards our heels. And then we're gonna slowly just rock and roll here. If your wrists are bothering you, you could always come down on the forearms and do this, or you could come on the fists. And if you're in a chair, just widen the legs and rock the legs side to side. Maybe change the position of your wrist so now your fingertips are facing out, away from you. And notice how that feels. Maybe walk the feet a little bit further and then a rock. So freedom to explore here. And then as slowly as you can, come to the forearms if you're not already there, and then make your way all the way down to the earth, keeping this rock and roll. And we're gonna make a diamond shape with our indexes and our thumbs. So place the pinky, I mean, place the index and the thumbs together. And then we're gonna extend the legs and bring that diamond shape right below our belly button. So the thumbs are connected to the bottom of the belly button. Index fingers are in the super pubic area and then the hands are just resting on the hips or the belly. This is our root chakra, our area for grounding, stability, security, whether it's in relationships, financially, spiritually, in your occupation, whatever it might be. It's the 
ability to improve our feeling of confidence and security. So we'll take a breath in here. Fill this area with breath and then exhale here. Inhale in your mind, say I am. Exhale, secure, stable. Inhale, I am. Secure and stable. One more time, take a breath in, I am. Exhale, secure and stable. And then glide those hands up a little bit further. So now the belly button is in the center of the diamond. We'll take the soles of our feet together. Relax the shoulders. And then inhale here. Fill the hands, the belly button rises towards the sky and then exhale. And then we'll make some movement here. So pumping in this area, like you were kind of kneading dough, just bringing the dough in towards your belly button, just scooping here. This area, our sacral chakra is for creativity. It's for sensuality, it's for sexuality. So this area gives us a lot of our artistic abilities, our creative abilities. And then we'll bring the, bring the soles of the feet to the earth. Feet hip distance apart, heels in towards the bottom. And then we're going to release the hands down to the earth, palms facing down for a bridge pose. But first, lift the toes up so you really ground down through the ball mount of the foot and the heel. And then drop the toes down nice and slow. One more time, inhale, lift the toes up. And then exhale, slowly drop the toes down. And then the space that's created underneath your low back, bring your hands to that space. You can feel that space behind. And then remove the arms and let your pelvis tilt back so that your low back now connects to the mat so that you can't feel that space anymore. And then from here, activating through the lower abdominals, push the hands down. We're gonna inhale, lift, the hips lift the belly up, really engaging the inner thighs, gazes up. Inhale, you feel the center of the body lift. And then exhale, slowly drop each vertebra down. Push the low back into the mat, prepare yourself, lift the toes, lift the fingertips and place the palms down of the hands. Inhale here. Exhale, slowly dropping each finger, each toe to the earth. Reconnect your, with your low belly. And then inhale, lift the hips up, reach up. Gaze remains up, breathe in a little bit higher. And then exhale, slowly lower down, bringing the soles of the feet back together, knees open wide. We're gonna slide our hands back so that we create that diamond shape over our belly button. Take some slow breaths here. Feel the stretch in the legs. Relax through the spine. Maybe you just rock the legs a little bit side to side. Inhale, I will. Exhale, be creative every day. Inhale, I will. Be creative every day. Inhale, I will. Exhale, be creative every day. And then slide the hands one on top of the other to the center of the body. Bring the knees together. Widen the feet so that the knees now knock. And then we're gonna take one hand on top of the other and start to create some circular movements at the center of the body. So this area here is our solar plexus. This is our area of our power. So it's the very center of the chakra. So there's seven in total. This is the third here. So 
creating some circles in a clockwise manner will help to improve the energy flow, the, the, the digestive flow as well. This area also is the center where our majority of our internal organs and our digestive tract is. So if you keep this area moving, you'll help with a lot of different symptoms in the body or systems in the body. And then from here, we're gonna come back to the soles of the feet together, knees open wide, but this time we're gonna reach our arms up overhead, point the index fingers, interlace the hands, take a breath in here. Exhale, slowly curl up so you aim the fingertips toward the toes. Inhale, start to straighten the arms, reach them up overhead. As you exhale, use that low belly, pull yourself up, you can do it. One more time, breathe in. And out. And then slowly lower hands back to the center of the body, knees together, but bring the knees off the earth now so that the legs are at a 90 degree angle. And then find that pushing of the low back into the earth again so that you can slowly start to bring the knees away from you on the inhale. And then exhale, bring the knees back into your chest. So nice and slow, inhale, bring them away. Keep the connection of your low back into the earth, engage your abdominals, just go to whatever degree feels okay. Two more. Flex the toes, point the toes, check in with the feet, breathe in. And out, and then hands to the shins, we're gonna rock and roll side to side. And as we do this, breathe in. I am, breathe out, powerful in every way. Breathe in, I am, breathe out, powerful in every way. Maybe you start to make some circles for this last time. Breathe in, I am, exhale, powerful in every way. And then start to make some circles with the knees. We'll take the hands to the knees and on the in-breath, extend those knees again. And then exhale, bring the knees out towards the sides, back and around. Nice and slow and controlled. So to improve energy flow, lymph flow in our solar plexus, our area for our power, incorporating or engaging our abdominal muscles will help this, creating more spine strength, more core strength. And then we're gonna lift the legs up towards the sky, hands behind the knees. We're gonna give the backs of the knees a little massage, pumping the lymph nodes behind here, and then extending one leg and then the other. And as you lift the leg, bring your hand towards the calf, and then as you slowly bend, you're gonna drag that hand down towards the hamstrings. So you're stretching the skin behind the knee as that leg comes down. This is so this is pumping through the muscles of our legs. Check in with the angle of the toes and feet. That will also help. The lymph nodes behind the knees here help to filter the feet and the lower leg. So helping us to be more mobile, helping us to be more stable and flexible in our ankles. And then hug the knees back in, rock side to side. And then placing our arms out into a T, so arms by your sides if you can. And then keep up with this movement side to side of the leg. So you're hovering over one side and then the other. And then the next time the legs fall towards the left, they can stay here. Left hand to the outer right thigh, right arm stays extended here. Take a breath in and out. Take a breath in and out. And then from here, stay here for a moment and re-extend that left arm. 
And we're gonna bring that right arm up towards our left. And then glide, so now we're laying on our side, glide the right hand to behind the head. Elbows facing up towards the sky or a little bit toward, towards the front of you. We're gonna inhale here. And as you do this, you're gonna slowly bring that right elbow behind you. Just get a stretch through the armpit, through the chest, the pec, the breast. And then exhale, slowly bringing that elbow in towards your left arm. Breathe in, open, let your trunk open. And then exhale, slowly coming back in. So as you might have already guessed, the next energy center chakra is our heart space. So if we can allow for some more opening through the chest, allow for some tension relief in the chest, we're able to give and receive love a lot more. One more time here. Maybe stay here, breathe in, and then slowly lower. And then we're gonna release that arm towards our right hip for a moment. We can stay here or you can come up on that left arm. So ear near the bicep. And then from here, we're going to inhale, reach our arm forward, and then a big circle around. So inhale, reaching the arm forward, thumb comes up, and then opening up, maybe turning our torso towards the right as you do this. So big circular movement. Making sure to breathe as you do this. And then releasing the hand down. We're going to stay here just for a breath in and out. And then we're gonna bring that left arm back around and slowly come back onto our backs. Bring the knees into the chest and just rock side to side. And then release the grasp of the hands and then just allow those knees to rock side to side. Connecting with the low back as you come to center. And then when the knees drop towards the right, stay here. Right hand to the outer left thigh, reaching left arm out to the side. breaths here and then release that right hand out to the right again take a look at the left thumb take a breath in exhale bring that hand all the way to come to connect to the right hand Inhale, opening up. See if you can really open up through your thoracic spine. So twisting here, rotating at the center. And then exhale, bring that hand all the way back. Maybe you slide that top hand forward a little bit. Inhale, opening. Exhale. One more, breathe in. And exhale. Pause for a moment. And then bring the right hand underneath to bring the head to the bicep. Left hand behind your neck onto the ear. Take a moment here. Knees are still stacked. Breathe in and out. And then take a breath in to open up through that left elbow. And then exhale, slowly bringing that elbow down. Inhale, opening up. Maybe staying for a moment to feel a stretch. Or if you're too mobile, just keep moving. One more breath in to open. 
and exhale, release that hand down to your hip. Just let your body relax for a moment. And then we'll take those big circles. <clears throat> so we'll come forward and up. Open up so you look behind you as you sweep around. Breathe in. And out. Breathe in. And out. One more. Breathe in. And out. Let yourself relax. Let the shoulder melt. Breathe in. Soften your face. Let it go. And then rock nice and slow onto your back. Extend the legs. And then last little movement here for this space, we're going to imagine that we're laying in snow, making snow angels. So inhale, swiping the arms along the earth, reaching the arms all the way up. Maybe the fingertips just touch one another. And then slowly lowering the arms all the way back down to your head. So if the sh one shoulder has a little bit more motion than the other, do not worry. That is important that you identify that. So be proud of yourself for identifying. And then bring your arms up towards the sky. And we'll start to roll the wrists out here while we roll the ankles. So finding some distal movement here. So maybe point, maybe pump the feet, pump the hands and wrists. So bring the fingertips back and then forward as you move the toes back and forward. And then we'll pump the hands as you squeeze the toes, so making some gripping movements. And then hands to the heart here, place one hand over the other, let the feet kind of sway open and just relax. Inhale, I am. Exhale, bringing love in and bringing love out. Inhale, I am. Bringing love in and bringing love out. One more time at your own pace. And then glide the hands behind the head, interlace the hands, let the arms just be open here. And then we'll bring the soles of the feet back together. <clears throat> Take a moment here. And then bring all the lower chakras in together. We're gonna inhale through the nose. Exhale, slowly curl up as you bring the elbows together. Inhale, open the arms wide as you connect the head to the earth. Exhale, slowly coming in. Inhale. Exhale. One more breath in to open. Exhale, coming up. And then opening up one more time, reaching the arms out to a T. We'll widen the feet about mat distance and then just windshield the wiper this time, allowing the gaze and the trunk to rotate side to side. And now let the head move side to side. So our next chakra center is our throat. So allow your neck to move side to side here, kind of opening, shining it up towards the earth. Our throat chakra helps with communication. So whether that's the communication internally in your body to yourself or the communication to others. And then from here, we're gonna bring the knees into the chest and then cross one leg over the other and grab onto the feet here. And then we're gonna slowly make our way up into a seated position. So you can allow yourself to either just come up or you can rock and roll a couple times till you sit up. 
Take your time getting here. Let your shoulders relax when you arrive. And then we'll take our hands, cross them, and just place them to our neck so that our heels of our hand are near our throat. So either crossed or just one hand over the next to the other. Feel the energy in this area. And we're gonna take a breath in. But on the exhale, we're gonna hum. So Take a breath in through the nose. Hum it out. Breathe in. Exhale, hum. Two more. A slow breath in. Open mouth exhale. <sighs> Hands placed down on the knees. We're going to inhale, rock our belly forward, lift through the chin and chest. Exhale, lion's breath, stick out the tongue. <sighs> As you round. Inhale. Let it out. <sighs> Breathe in. And out. One more time. And out. And then hands back to the throat. Breathe in. I am. Exhale, able to speak my truth. Inhale. Exhale, able to speak my truth. One more time. And then release the hands and we'll make some circular movements, opening up through the neck and then rounding through. So being able to speak our truth really means our ability to hear and listen to the inner chatter, the inner voices, the inner symptoms or sensations to be able to identify them and speak the truth about them. So what they are instead of a judgmental or a kind of, um, we don't want to ignore them. So allowing us to speak and then reverse the circle. So essentially the ability to clearly decipher what is going on inside to help us more clearly and more balanced. And then back up to center, hands to the shoulders, then drop the shoulders down, lift the chin up. Exhale, head comes back into neutral and we're gonna rub through the hands. So creating some warmth and heat so that there's only two more chakras left. This one is a really good one to work on. It's our third eye. So we're gonna take those hands and, and Cup them like you're creating a little circle, but don't touch the hands and see if you can feel the vibration through the hands. That's your own energy that you're feeling. So take that ball of energy and if you're, you don't really feel it too strongly, maybe come a little closer or maybe rub your hands again to ignite it and then come a little bit closer. And then take that, we'll do it one more time so everyone rub their hands together, create some warmth and heat and friction and then cup the eyes with these hands. Feel the energy go right into the mind, the frontal lobe. Allow this energy to sink into our third eye, our area of intuition, our area of knowing, our thinking, planning, doing mind. And then we'll take the two fingertips of our right hand and we'll create a circular clockwise movement to this area. I am, exhale, able to think clearly. Inhale, I am, 
You can switch your hand, now the left hand circles. Able to think clearly. One more. And then release the hands, take both hands to your temples and create some circles here. Just imagining all of the tension, all of the stuck energy that clouds your mind is simply just draining all the way down to leave the body and leave you with a clear, more easily open and understanding mind. And then take the hands, interlace, reach the, the, the palms forward so that they're facing one another. Inhale, lift the arms all the way up. Exhale, release the hands as you drag the shoulders all the way down with the hands. Interlace, reaching the arms all the way up. Exhale, draw the energy down the side body. And then interlace, come all the way up. This time, bring the hands to the top of the head. Pull the top of the head into the hands. Feel the head lifting into the hands. This is our crown chakra, our area of connection with one another, our area of connection to our higher self, to those who are guiding us. So just breathe in here. And then open up your arms like a lotus flower, bringing the thumb and index together right over the head. And we're going to inhale, reach that flower up towards the sky, and then push the walls away as you come down. Inhale, coming halfway up, create, creating that lotus shape. And then exhale, pulling down. Inhale, reaching all the way up. Exhale, push the walls away. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, pushing the floor away. And then hands to the top of the head one more time. Inhale, I am. Exhale, connected in every way. Inhale, I am. Exhale, connected in every way. Inhale, I am. Exhale, connected in every way. And then release the hands to your lap. Taking a breath in and out. Start to notice the energy in your body in every energy center, your root, sacral, solar, heart, throat, third eye, and crown. And then inhale, imagine a wave of beautiful energy coming through your body, cleansing and clearing and moving all of these wheels in the right direction. And then take a moment here to place the hands over the heart and reconnect with that positive affirmation at the beginning of class. Taking another breath in and out. Breath in and out. And then we'll inhale, reach our arms up for the last time. Palms connect and thumbs come to our third eye. Massage this third eye here with the thumb knuckles. Know that you're now connected with your own mind, your intuition. And then thumbs connect to the heart. You are now more open in your heart center, ready to receive and to give more love. And then we can bow to another to share our gratitude for one another. Thank you so much for being here and for sharing your energy every week. And thank you. I'll see you next week. Eddie, you did good. You did good. You did really thank good. You, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Thanks. See you.